Hi everyone. So finally we have got the list of the winners of Nobel Prize in Chemistry for the year of 2023. Now you have you might have seen that there was a lot of speculation about this in the last 24 hours. It has been said that the list has been uh, leaked also and the leaked names also came to be true. So today the Nobel committee they have announced the winner and the winner for this year it has been given for the discovery and the synthesis of quantum dots. Okay. In the chemistry, if you have read about the modern portions, if you have read about the current related things, you might have heard about this unique thing which is called as quantum dots. Okay. So basically, this Nobel Prize in Chemistry for 2023, it has been awarded for the discovery and synthesis of quantum dots. And for this, a prize of around 8.3 crore has been awarded to three scientists. And who are these scientists? They are basically, they are three people from, they are three people, Mongi Wawendi, he is originally born in France, but again, he has been at MIT USA. Then we have Louis Bruce, who is from Columbia University, born also in USA. And then we have Alexei Amikov, he is from, he is serving in this nano crystals technology in, in USA, but he originally hails from Russia. So these three peoples have been given the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for the discovery and synthesis of quantum dots. Now, the question is, what exactly are these quantum dots? If we talk about quantum dots, what exactly are they? Are? Okay. Now, in chemistry, you might be aware about one thing, that the properties of any such element or any such matter depends upon its number of protons or electrons. Okay. That is basically deciding its uh, chemical composition, chemical nature and all. Okay. But if we talk about the matters at nano scale, matters of very small size, their property changes significantly. When we talk about the matter at very small scale, nano scale, then their property change significantly. And this is where the quantum dots come into picture. Okay. So normally at, it, at normal scale, at normal measurement, the elements behave in a particular manner. But when they reach at that nano scale, they behave in a different manner. So basically, if we talk about quantum dots, quantum dots are nothing but nano scale semiconductor particles. Okay. The quantum dots are nano scale semiconductor particles that have unique quantum mechanical properties due to their nano scale due to their nano size they have different properties they have different quantum properties okay if we talk about them what they are made up of what they are composed of they are basically composed of certain materials like we have cadmium selenide we have cadmium sulfide and other semiconductors are also there so these quantum dots are again nanoscale materials having quantum properties following the quantum mechanics. Okay. Now let us see that what are the applications. You might be like even using them, but you might not be aware about the term. Okay. So let us see that what are these quantum dots and in which areas they are being used. Okay. So if we talk about the quantum dots, normally you can see their size is like of nanoscales, few nanometers is their diameter. And they are used in display technology. Like we have the QLED TVs. Okay. So QLED TVs are making use of quantum dots. Okay. At the same time, biological imaging means when we talk about the cellular imaging or molecular imaging, there also we are making use of these quantum dots. Okay. At the same time, if we talk about the quantum dots, they have also very important optical properties. Okay. They have like a if we talk about, they can emit various colors of light. And this is one of the very important thing which has been highlighted by the Nobel Committee also. That these quantum dots are of significant use because of their, uh, their ability to display multiple variations of color. Okay. And now due to this fact, due to this optical property, the quantum dots, they are also being used in displays. Wherever we need to have vibrant or efficient color displays, we are making use of quantum dots. Okay. So in the display screens, they are being used. At the same time, lighting. 
Now you know that they can emit different colors of light. So they can be used in the lighting solutions also. They can be turned into the LEDs, okay. light emitting diodes, which can emit various colors of light. Okay. Now, the third, at the same time, they can also be used in photovoltaics. You know that right now we have this uh, impetus on generation of renewable energies in general and solar energy in particular. So, there we can again find the use of quantum dots. They can be used for manufacturing the photovoltaic cells with better efficiency, with higher efficiency. Okay. At the same time, if we talk about the quantum dots, they have also electronic properties. Okay. What are they? They have basically high electron mobility and tunable energy levels. Okay. Their electrons are very, uh, they have very high uh, mobility and their energies can also be tuned as per our requirement. Okay. So, due to this electronic property, they are used in transistors. Okay. The high performing electronic devices which are used in our, uh, like uh, the computers and all. So, there they are again being used. Okay. They can also be used in sensors. If we talk about the chemical sensors or biosensors, then again, quantum dots can be used there. If you know about quantum technology, you might be aware, you might be aware about this, that the quantum technology is something which is very much in use for development of sensors. Okay. For this very thing, we have a lecture coming in our science and technology lecture series. And on 5th of, uh, on 6th of, 5th of October, you will find there is a lecture in our YouTube channel explaining the quantum computing which is there. Okay. So, there we are going to talk about quantum computing as well. Okay. Now, if we talk about here, they are this quantum, this due to this electronic property, they are also being used in quantum computing. At the same time, we have also their use in cancer imaging and treatment. Why? Because they have got biological applications also. They have low toxicity. Okay. They have low toxicity. So, they are suitable for in vivo imaging and therapy, means they can be sent inside the body, they can be transmitted, they can be injected inside the body and through that we can go for bioimaging or therapy. Okay. So, here they are being used in cancer imaging and treatment. At the same time, you know that the drugs are generally the drugs which we are using, the medicines which we are using, they are not very much well targeted. But using the quantum dots, the drug delivery can be optimized, it can be enhanced. So, it can also be used for drug delivery. Controlled release of drugs can happen with the help of quantum dots. Now, due to this biological application, it is also being used in di disease diagnosis. Okay. Early detection of diseases can be made possible with the application of quantum dots. Okay. Now, at the same time, if we talk about the environment, you know, environment is very much important in the present era. In, the, in this era of climate change, again, quantum dots are going to play a very significant role. Okay. Why? See, they are efficient catalyst for chemi chemical reactions. They are very much efficient catalyst, means they can promote, they can enhance the chemical reactions. Due to this property, they can be used for environmental remediation removing the pollutants from the environment, removing it from air, water or soil. So, for this purpose, again, the quantum dots can be utilized. At the same time, they can also be used in fuel cells. Now, you might be aware this year, UPSC has also asked questions about the use of microbes in generation of energy. So, if we look from the quantum dot perspective also, they can also be environment friendly because they can help in environmental Remediation also, they can be helpful in designing the fuel cells which can again help in preserving our environment. At the same time, they can be used for water purification also. You know that around 70% of water in India is surface water. It is believed to be polluted. It is believed to be contaminated. And in this context, quantum dots can play a very significant role. Okay. On the other hand, it can also be used in the information technology sector. The quantum information is also there. It can be used as qubits in the quantum computing. 
basically if we talk about quantum computing you know that the normal transistors or the normal devices which we are using in our traditional computers classical computers they cannot be used in the quantum computers but the quantum dots due to their nano scale they are able to display the quantum properties and due to which they can be used in building our quantum computers india has also got a mission for national quantum national quantum mission which aims to develop quantum computers okay we are aiming to develop quantum computers in the next upcoming few years okay and for this quantum dots can again be very much helpful okay so here they can be used in quantum cryptography okay they can be used to secure the communication protocols they can be used to secure the messages which are being transmitted so it can play a significant role in national security as well at the same time they can be used for quantum encryption okay protecting the sensitive data which is there so these are some of the uses of quantum dots for which the nobel prize in chemistry has been awarded for the year of 2023 we have seen already the winners who are there two of them are like uh, one of them is from france originally born in france then of course the education and everything in usa okay then second person again born in usa and we have also one from russia okay so they have got this award and if we look at the history of this nobel prize we can see that it has been awarded 114 times to 191 nobel prize laureates okay and what has been the time gap it has started from 1901 to 2022 and this year we have got three more so now the number is 194 okay now out of these frederick sanger and barry sapless they have been given award two times so you can reduce the number now we have got 192 persons who have been awarded the nobel prize in chemistry okay so this is one of the um, latest uh, update in the chemistry section for the next year examination you should be aware about at least this term quantum dots what are their application where they are being used okay so thank you very much for watching this video all the best thank you